Hello everyone. Today let's talk nutrition. And one of the big things that we see are overweight horses. So today we're going to talk about some strategies to help limit the calories. And one of the ways we're going to do that is by talking about where calories come from in your horse's diet. First, we're gonna talk about concentrates. And when we think about concentrates in the horse world, this is what we commonly refer to as grain. Once upon a time, these were grains. This was oats, barley, that type of thing. Anymore, the feeds that we feed our horses are a variety of different commodities put together to create a balanced diet that is designed to be fed at a rate. So I took three common different levels of concentrates. Now I use Neutrina, but it was pretty similar across the board if I looked at Purina, Triple Crown, any of the major brands. So let's start with uh, Neutrina's Ration Balancer, which is Top Line Balance. And that one had a calorie content of 1.3 megacals per pound. Megacals sounds really big, right? It is. So when we think about the calories that are in that, a megacal is equal to a thousand of the calories you think of when you're thinking of a human diet. So when you feed your horse a pound of most ration balancers, like I said, in this case, I use top line balance, they are getting 1.3 megacalories of calories in that pound. Here's where the big difference comes in. Let's look at feeding, recommended feeding rates. So for top line balance, it is recommended to be fed at a rate of one to two pounds total per day. So if we take that 1.3 and we multiply it by one to two, we have 1.3 to 2.6 megacalories total coming from concentrate. Easy, right? Now let's look at some of the other diet options, and this is more common. I find that I spend a lot of my day talking to people about why their horse shouldn't be on strategy or safe choice and should instead be on a ration balancer. So safe choice maintenance, which is equivalent to Purina strategy, uh, you know, sort of those, those basic maintenance level diets across brands, and they're all again pretty similar. So if I look at safe choice maintenance, again, I've got 1.3 megacalories per pound. And you're like, well, that's the same. How can it be that this is worse for my horse that's a fatty? Well, the recommended feeding rate for that feed is three to six pounds. So in order to meet the minimum nutrition requirements for your horse, you need to feed three pounds a day for that. And now we're adding at least 1.3 megacalories to your horse's diet. Now, if we're on that top end, because we as humans find it very hard to feed low quantities, if we're at that six pound end, we're adding a ton of calories to your horse's diet. And this is how concentrates really pack in the calories. That's their job. Now we're gonna look at a food that is on the high end of the calorie content, and that is ProForce Fuel. And that one is 1.57. So this is equivalent to like uh, Purina's Ultium, any of the, the really performance horse nutrient dense feeds. And again, 1.57, not a whole lot more, but for many of these horses, it's designed to be fed at a five to six pound per day minimum uh, in order to keep the, the nutrition where it needs to be. And that's where this is part of sort of a, a whole horse, whole diet look, right? So I can't just feed a pound of ProForce fuel and get my horse what they need. I've got to get the vitamins, minerals, and proteins in there that they need. And so I have to feed at least three pounds to do that. But in the process, I'm adding a whole lot more calories than I would if I was using something like top line balance or a ration balancer. So think about that when you are looking at your horse's diet. And the other thing we have to look at is their, uh, their performance level, right? So if they're hanging out in the backyard and not doing much, you can get away with those low ends. So for like a ration balancer, you can get away with that, that pound to maybe even only a pound and a half for the average horse. Versus if we're looking at a performance horse who still tends to be on the overweight side, we may be looking at even still only two pounds of ration balancer a day, a day to meet their needs. So that's concentrates. Now we're gonna move on to forages and I'm gonna start with hays. So hay should be 
the basis of your horse's diet. And that is how these hays add a lot of calories to the diet. And if it's not going to be hay, it's going to be grass in the form of grazing. And we're going to talk about that last. So let's talk about alfalfa hay. Universally available, super high quality, full of good stuff. Also the highest in calories. So alfalfa has one mega calorie per pound on average. And I took sort of some averages, you know, you look at first, second, third cutting, they may have different, but I, I went sort of middle of the road on this. So it is very possible to get haze that are higher in mega calories than what I have here. So if you're feeding 20 pounds of alfalfa hay a day, you're adding 20 mega calories a day to your horse's diet just from hay. So think about that for a second. That is a lot of calories. And if we're looking at Timothy's or Orchard's, we're only going down to 0 0.7, 0 0.8 mega calories. Now, the, the difference in the components makes a bit of a difference here, and that's, that's a whole different video. But for here, we're just looking at straight calories. So this is why it's really important to take those hays that you're feeding those forages and weigh them and really manage how much hay your horse is getting. Because the difference between feeding 15 pounds of alfalfa and 20 pounds, that is a whole lot of calories. So paying attention to those numbers, big deal. For the average horse, we wanna feed them around one and a half to 2% of their body weight in forage. So we're looking at the ideal weight when we, we measure that, not the weight they are. So if we have a horse who is 1,300 pounds, but we want them to weigh 1,000 pounds, we're gonna use 1,000 pounds to come up with our number of about 20 pounds of hay a day, not 1,300 to come up with 26. And you can see how that makes a big difference on any of these hays. When we're talking about that 0.7 to 1 mega calorie, we're dropping, you know, we're dropping four to five mega calories by calculating their percentage correctly. Next, let's talk about grazing. Here in Florida, we're blessed with not great pastures. Um, our common pasture is Pensacola Bahia of some variety. There's a couple different varieties out there, but it is low in quality. So it tends to be around the 0.1 mega cal per pound, and that is as fed. So as fed means we're taking, taking into account the moisture that's in there. And you can imagine at certain times of the year, the grass is really high in moisture, but what they make up for or what they lack in quality, horses can make up for in quantity. The average horse can graze 16 to 32 pounds in 14 hours of grazing, which is what the average horse does in about 24 hours of turnout time. That's a wide variety of, of pounds, I get that. And if you look at horses graze, you can make a good guess as to what your horse is. If your horse walks out in the pasture, puts their head down, starts grazing, and mows like a lawnmower, you're probably in the 32 pound range. And you need to manage all of those calories going in. You know, if you take that 0.1, multiply that by 32 pounds, you've still got a decent number of calories that you can impact, right? Now, if you go to higher quality pastures like fescue, fescue is more commonly grown other places, 0.26 megacals per pound. So we've now doubled the amount of calories a horse can get just out grazing. Looking at some of the legumes like clover and alfalfa, we're gonna take that number up even higher. So being aware of the calories that your horse is gaining from grazing is super important. And this is why we harp on grazing muscles. Grazing muscles allow us to take that number and massively decrease it down into the eight to 10 pound range as opposed to the 16 to 32 pound range. And so we're impacting calories while still giving horses the, that enrichment of being out grazing like they would like to be and like you would like them to be because pooping outside is way easier to manage than pooping inside in a stall. Being outside, seeing the birds go around, being in the sunshine, being able to hang out with your other horse friends, all of those things are very important, but we need to manage the calories in and using a total program, looking at concentrate, forages as haze, and forages as pastures, we can do the best job possible for your horse.